कृष्ण होते चतुर्मोक हो कृष्ण सेवन मोक ब्रह्मा होते नर दे रे पूर्ण प्रज्ञा पद्मा ना भगते Thank you so much for inviting me to your sangha. Pleasure is all mine. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances. Vancha kalpata rupaya, kripa sindhu bevacha, patita nam bhavne bhio, Vaishnavi bhio namo namaha, ananta koti Vaishnavrinda ki jai. Shri Shri Radha Damodar Bhagwan ki jai, Jagannath Vallabh Sabdra Maharani ki jai, Shri Shri Gornetai ki jai. <coughs> लक्ष्मी नरसिंह देव भगवान की जाय प्रहलाद महाराज की जाय जगत गुरु श्रील प्रभुपाद की जाय परमाराध्य गुरुदेव की जाय एंड ऑल ग्लोरीज टू दिस कॉन वर्तमान गुरु वृंद इस कॉन वर्तमान गुरु वृंद की जाय हरे कृष्णा सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक the glories of uh, brahma madhva gaudiya sampradaya which we all uh, uh, belong to so there are not going to be any stories <laughs> it's a little technical uh, subject but all th- at the same time it's very important because once we understand this then it will make us more determined in our journey in krishna consciousness and we'll be proud oh we belong to such a uh, glorious uh, sampradaya so a uh, little thing has to be done is we need to share the screen because the, there's so many technical terms i thought it will be nice if the devotees can watch the ppt while i speak then it will make uh, things more easier to comprehend uh, the glories of um, brahma madhva uh, gaudiya sampradaya so first of all before we begin this uh, presentation we understand the first word brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya what is uh, brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya first of all what is the term uh, gaudiya so <coughs> this word gaudiya you can go to the second slide this word gaudiya has uh, two important meanings one is um, internal and one is external Now, why do we call ourselves Gaudiya Vaishnavas? See, Vaishnavas basically mean those who are followers of Lord uh, Vishnu. But then Vishnu, we, then you may say, but well, we are followers of Krishna. But Vishnu term is very wide. What basically Vishnu means is one who is in every anu is Vishnu. So Lord Krishna is in every anu. So we are followers of Lord Sri Krishna. Now. we are gaudiya vaishnavas so this gaudiya term has two meanings one is an internal deep meaning and one is an external meaning externally what gaudiya means is those who are um, you know from because this whole m- movement of chaitanya mahaprabhu originated in bengal and in the ancient times they used to call bengal as a gaudadesh so because it originated there it's it's called gaudiya vaishnavism because chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared in uh, uh, bengal and because this whole thing originated there so it's called gaudiya vaishnavism that's the external reason the internal uh, reason however is gaudiya means see in bengali there's a word called gud i think in hindi also they say gud that means jaggery so that which is very sweet 
So because this whole thing, you know, the Gaudiya Vaishnavism uh, philosophy is so sweet, so that is why it's called Gaudiya Vaishnavism, so sweet, you know, the way it has been uh, given in a very simple and nectarian form. And then there are Acharyas who comment that it's also called Gaudiya Vaishnavism because we are the worshippers of uh, Radha Rani, the, the supreme uh, Gauri, and the followers of uh, Gauri, Radha Rani, is uh, are called Gaudiya Vaishnavas. So we are from Brahma, Madhava, Gaudiya, Sampradaya. Now we go to the next slide. What is this Brahma, Madhava, Gaudiya, Sampradaya? All these four authorized uh, sampradayas, they begin from four authorized people. So one sampradaya begins from Brahma, one begins from Shri, that is Lakshmi Devi, one begins from Rudra, that is Lord Shiva, and another begins from Kumara, the four Kumaras. So we belong to that first arrow, you see, Brahma. So why it's called Brahma Madhva? Because you see there are the prominent Acharyas. So the prominent Acharya of the uh, Sampradaya which starts from Brahma is Madhvacharya. And Madhvacharya gave the uh, Dvaitavad. And the prominent Acharya in the Sri Sampradaya is um, Ramanujacharya. And the prominent uh, Acharya in the Rudra Sampradaya is Vishnu Swami. And the prominent Acharya in the Kumar Sampradaya is uh, Nimbarka Acharya. So now it's very clear, the first line, the, the, our, our title today, the glories of Brahma, Madhava, Gaudiya, Sampradaya. So we belong to that Brahma and in that line you have Madhvacharya, Madhava, you also have Madhavendra Puri, there are so many Acharyas, but main Acharya, we, we call ourselves the followers of Madhvacharya. So Brahma, Madhava, Gaudiya, Sampradaya. So we belong to this Sampradaya. Now, there are so many other Sampradayas. Why we are saying that Brahma, Madhava, Gaudiya Sampradaya is very, very special? Because, we see in the next slide, there are so many special things that only, that only Brahma, Madhava, Gaudiya Sampradaya has. And I have listed them here. And uh, that makes our Sampradaya very, very special than the other Sampradaya. So these are the nine important concepts that we'll be discussing today. The Tattva part, Achinta Bheda Bhe Tattva, what is the best that we have taken from other Sampradayas, about Raganuga Bhakti, Goloka Dham, Rasa Vichar, about the uh, scriptures that we have, about the Lord that we worship, about the mantra that we chant, and how all these uh, super excellent uh, uh, qualities of Gaudiya Sampradaya has been imbibed in ISKCON. So, we'll go to the first concept. Achinti Bheda Bhed Tattva. Um, what is this Achintya Bheda Bheda Tattva? So, to make it simple in the form of a story, um, let me go like that. I'm trying to make it like as simple as possible so that everybody can understand. So, Let's say um, how how things actually started. Let's say a person has a um, sugar problem and they have some sugar disease and they go to the doctor and they tell the doctor, um, you know, the doctor gives the treatment and then he says, okay, uh, you have sugar, so you should not take anything that contains sugar. Now the patient may say, but doctor, I'm so attached to e eating sugar. I cannot live without sugar. So, um, uh, do give me some concessions and the doctor says okay if you cannot absolutely cut down on sugar maybe once in a week you can take two gulab jamuns mm -hmm. now when the doctor says that once in a week you can take two gulab jamuns it is not his prescription just like he prescribed medicine he didn't prescribe to you okay you should take compulsory two gulab jamuns because you're not able to give it up okay you take it it's a concession it's not a recommendation, it's not a prescription. But suppose if the patient goes home and tells his wife, doctor asked me to take every week two gulab jamuns, kindly make sure you make it, then that is stupid. It's a concession because you're not able to give it up. So what happened to the people of the world? They started misinterpreting Vedas. The Vedas give certain concessions. If people say, I can't live without eating meat, I have to eat meat, then they said, okay, 
once in a while when you are performing a vedic sacrifice or you are perform or you can you know offer it you know uh, to a kali or chandi and then you take it as a you know, prasad it's not a recommendation vedas are not recommending that you eat meat but because you're not able to give it up okay some concession for you but what happened people started misinterpreting vedas and they started taking advantage of it and it was not only once in a while they started having meat on regular basis and the big slaughter houses are getting open and it was becoming crazy so at that time lord came as buddha and then lord came as buddha and said oh how can you kill you know uh, innocent living being can't you see you're killing a pers- killing a, a animal which has life and then people argued but the vedic scriptures say so so buddha says forget about vedic scriptures reject the vedic scriptures you should you should not follow them you should follow non violence and peace and silence you know so buddha he started shuni uh, vamsi don't uh, don't talk and i so buddha he Start, he he uh, started preaching uh, shunyavadi there's no god there's no scriptures then lord shiva came shankaracharya what he saw oh people are completely not following the scriptures so what to do so then he says what do you want you want peace you want calmness oh that is there in our scriptures oh then he started preaching the uh, mayavad or brahmavad or you know like where he says everything is one and you you know you about oneness so that people at least come back to the vedic fold then after shankaracharya came ramanujacharya he said what is this oneness okay there is oneness but there is also a little difference so when shankaracharya was preaching the advaitavad then um, ramanuja comes and he says vishishta advaitavad okay but there is god and there is also god's energy then comes madhavacharya he says where is oneness i don't see there is any oneness you know or oh, there are so many differences and then he gave the philosophy of pancham bheda he said he said three things you know with j that is jagat and then there is jagadish and there is jiva so he says there is a difference between jiva and jagat there is difference between jiva and jagadish there is a difference between jagat and jagadish there is a difference between jiva and jiva and then there is a difference between different elements of the jagat so this is pancham bhed and then he gave the philosophy of uh, dvaita he said no there are differences now chaitanya mahaprabhu he came into this line and he you know he he got himself institutionally connected to the madhva sampradaya but he didn't follow as it is what madhva acharya preached he refined it and improved it a little bit more uh, further and he said something which is called achintya bheda bhed tatva so he said yes there is there is no oneness the lord and the jiva there are two different but at the same time they are one so it's achintya bheda abheda tatva no no there is a bhed no 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 there is no bhed so there is a difference but there is no difference simultaneously one and different so he said chatan mahaprabhu says okay the example of a um, drop of the ocean water the drop in the ocean water it is salty but is the drop equal to ocean no ocean is ocean and drop is a part of the ocean so he said that the jiva is qualitatively maybe uh, have the same qualities like lord but quantitatively it is different so this amazing amazing concept of achintya uh, bheda bheda tatva has been given by chaitanya mahaprabhu so this is one of our uh, you know flags and our uh, or you know uh, on our crown is uh, such a beautiful uh, tatva of achintya bheda bheda tatva so here because of this tatva we can understand what is our um, uh, relationship with god how do we uh, go about it what is the goal so you know how we are connected to the god lord how we are qualitatively one but at the same time we are not equal to lord so this is the uh, one of the very uh, special thing about brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya now the other special thing about our sampradaya is see all these acharyas which we just listed 
Madhvacharya or Ramanujacharya, Nimbarkacharya, all of these uh, prominent Acharyas, even before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu actually manifested his form in um, uh, Navadvip, uh, they actually came to Navadvip and they saw Mahaprabhu. So, one such occasion is mentioned in the Navadvi Bhadham uh, Mahatya by Bhakti Vinod Thakur in the Parikrama Khanda 16.52.56 where he talks about a conversation between Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nimbarka Acharya and there Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling Nimbarka Acharya he says well I am going to take two important principles each from each sampradaya. So you just see on your screen from what, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took from each sampradaya. So from Ramanujacharya, he took two things from the Sri Sampradaya, Ananya Bhakti, that is one pointed uh, uh, focus on the Supreme Lord, Ananya, nobody else, Ananya Bhakti for the Lord. And the second concept he took is Bhakta Jana Seva, that is Vaishnava Seva. So these two things he took it from Ramanujacharya. Then from Madhavacharya Sampradaya, what did he take? Nitya Krishna Murti Sevana worshipping the Sri Vigraha of the Lord and the other thing is because Madhvacharya was damn against Mayavada he had written a book you know which uh, <coughs> which lists the hundred objections uh, defeating the Mayavada philosophy crushing the Nirvishesha Vadis so he has taken Kevala Advaita Nirashana so that uh, um, <coughs> aggressiveness he has taken from Madhvacharya where we completely don't uh, uh, accept, you know, Advaita. We don't accept Advaita, Vada. And then what he took from the uh, Kumara Sampradaya, Ekanta Radhika Ashraya, to take the Ashraya of Srimati Radharani. And another point he took from Kumara Sampradaya is the Gopi Bhav. Is it not? Uh, what we do in, in the Brahma Madhava Gaudiya Sampradaya, we take the shelter of Radharani and the highest goal is to have Gopi Bhava, serve the Lord in the way the Gopis are serving. And then what he took from the uh, Rudra Sampradaya, Tadiya Sarvasva Bhava, surrendering, ev surrendering everything to the Supreme Lord. And the other thing he took is Raga Marga, attachment to the Lord. So that is why our Brahma Madhava Gaudiya Sampradaya is excellent because we have taken from all the four Sampradaya. See, Brahma Madhava Gaudiya Sampradaya is not a separate fifth Sampradaya, but it is an improvement or refinement of the Madhava Sampradaya. So we come among uh, inside that four Sampradayas, but we are a part of a, a Madhava Sampradaya. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is more refined, it, but institutionally we are uh, connected to the Madhava Sampradaya. So this is another uh, point uh, which uh, glorifies our Sampradaya. Third thing, Sadhana Bhakti. Go to the next slide. Sadhana Bhakti. Now, um, Sadhana Bhakti, there are two kinds. One is the Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti and one is the Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti. So, the whole world is busy with Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti and their goal is to go to Vaikuntha. But the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they uh, are, do, they are um, uh, into Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti and their goal is to go back to Krishna, to Goloka Vrindavan. And Raganuga uh, Sadhana Bhakti is the highest. See, we see that. Go to the next slide. We see that. You see, just see. Um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, if you just uh, read the verse, he's saying uh, in the um, Chaitanya Chaitamritam. Adi Leela. He says, Prema rasa niriyasha karite aswadan, Raga marga bhakti loke karite pracharan, Rasika shekhara krishna paramakaruna, E dui hetu hoite ichara udgama. So, Lord is very clearly saying here, He says, the Lord wanted to taste the sweet essence of the mellows of love of God and He wanted to propagate devotional service in the world on the platform of 
spontaneous attraction. Spontaneous attraction means Raganuga Bhakti. Vedi Bhakti is you follow the rules and regulations. Raganuga Bhakti is you have a, you develop over a period of time spontaneous attraction towards the Lord. So here Lord himself says that I have come here in this world to propagate this spontaneous attraction. The gopis, they had a spontaneous attraction for the Lord. So we see in our um, Brahma Madhya Gaudiya Sampradaya, we are trying to achieve something which is very high. You see in the um, next slide. Aishwarya jani te sab jagat mishrita Aishwarya siti le prema nahi mora prita Lord is very clearly telling very frankly all the universe is filled with the conception of my majesty everybody is you know in awe and reverence of my um, Aishwarya but love weakened by that sense of majesty does not satisfy me. Very frankly, Lord is saying, but that does not satisfy me. What satisfies the Lord? In the next line, next slide, he says, Amara Ishwara Mane Apana Kehina Tara Prema Vasha Ami Nahoi Adhina. If one regards me as a supreme Lord and himself as a subordinate, then I do not become subservient to him. Very uh, openly the Lord is saying, if somebody thinks who is the Lord and I am his servant, then I, I cannot become their sub servant, you know, nor can it control me. Then that kind of devotees cannot control me. Who can control me? Who thinks me as subordinate, thinks me as their property, who has spontaneous attraction for me and that we see um, in the uh, gopis. You see, there is a very beautiful verse. Uh, go to the next slide. There is this very beautiful verse, you see, which is um, uh, which is written down by which is uh, by Rasa Khan. You know, he was he was a Muslim devotee of the Lord. He writes one very beautiful because he is seeing the leelas of the Lord. So he writes this very beautiful uh, verse. He says, "Shesh Ganesh Mahesh Dinesh Suresh Jahi Nirantara Gave Jahi Anadi Ananta Akhanda Acheed Abhed Subhed Batave Narad Se Sukha Vyasa Rahe Pachihari Tupuni Parana Pave Tahi Ahira Ki Chorehiya Chohariya Chachiya Bhar Chachapi Nachana Chave He is saying that the Lord is so great. Even devotees like, you know, demigods like Ganesha and Shiva and Anantasis and uh, Indra and uh, Surya, they are regularly glorifying the Lord. And Lord doesn't have any beginning, doesn't have any end, you know, Anadi, Ananta, Cheda, Akanda, Subheda. Such amazing is the Lord. And even Narada, Vyasa, though they try to define the Lord, but even they are not able to understand where to start and where to end. Such a supreme Lord, uh, Lord is in control of few cowherd girls and they tell the Lord, look, you want a little butter? Then you better dance. If you dance, I'll give you a little butter. And Lord enjoys that. And in there in Vaikuntha, they are, you know, ch chanting uh, so many verses, Sri Shukta and Purusha Shukta and this and that. Lord is not so happy. But here the Gopis tell him, come on, dance and I'll give you a little butter. Come on, do this. They, they, they pull his ears. They, they, they tie him to the uh, motor and Lord is very happy. So he likes this, you know. So Raganuga uh, Bhakti, spontaneous uh, love for the Lord. So you see that that's why in our daily sadhana also, what do we sing when we uh, uh, do the Tulasi Puja? E nivedana dharo sakhirano gatakaro sevadhikara diye karo nijadasi. We are asking, oh, I want to be sakhirano gata. How the sakhis, the gopis, they are serving the Lord. We want to serve the Lord under their direction. You see in the and elsewhere in another bhajan, uh, Narutam Das Thakur says, Lalita vishakadi joto sakhi vrinda. Agnaye karibo seva charanara vrinda. Said, I'll follow the uh, directions of Lalita, Vishaka, and Adi, so many other Sakhi vrinda, and according to their agya, I'll go ahead in, in serving the uh, Lord. So that is uh, our bhava. Uh, Raga Nuga Bhakti, following in the footsteps of the gopis and the Sakhis, and under their direction, trying to uh, serve the Lord. So, so we covered three things, the super excellence of uh, Gaudiya Vaishnavism. First is the Tattva, the Achintya uh, Bheda Bheda Tattva. And then we covered how 
chaitanya mahaprabhu took the best from all the sampradayas and then we came where we are talking about uh, sadhana bhakti the gaudiya vaishnavas they do the supreme uh, raga nuga uh, bhakti to please the lord because lord himself stated that this is what is going to please me now not only that our destination and our uh, goal is also very special we want to go to goloka dham so this goloka dham is very special you see in um, uh, brahma samhita in this verse we can understand what is the position of goloka dham goloka namni nija dhamni tale cha tasya devi mahesh hari dham shute shute shu ते ते प्रभाव निचया विहित गोविंद आदिपुरुषम तमहम भजामी सो इसे that this goloka dham is very special we, you see on the in, in the other side you can see this poster we can understand here how the uh, one fourth of this uh, whole uh, universe is material world and three fourth is a spiritual world and in that three fourth also see how the progression is the lowest of all is uh, devi dham which is a material world above that is the uh, mahesh dham and then you go a little bit above that is the hari dham and now you see the goloka dham is the ultimate one you see in the uh, top and there also there are um, uh, two divisions one is um, uh, vrindavan and one is navadvip so those who are um, um, attached to chaitanya mahaprabhu get the opportunity to associate with him there also right so here we see that um, uh, ultimate destination of the gaudiya vaishnava is very high we are not uh, aiming at anything below that we are aiming for the highest dham go loka so go means cow and loka means planet the planet of the cows so that's our highest aim so even uh, saket dham is below vaikuntha dham is below but we are uh, we are aiming for something which is the best so that you know that proves that brahma madhava gaudiya sampraday is a super excellence how we are aiming for the best dham see those who are karma karmis okay they will aim for um, swarga oh i should do some nice karma and then i can go to swarga and those who are gnanis they want to get merged into the lord you know into the brahman and those who are vidhi bhaktis vaidhi bhaktis those who are doing vaidhi bhaktis they want to go to vaikuntha or they want to serve the lord or oh, he is the lord and i am the uh, subordinate but those who are the raganuga bhaktas they want to go to the goloka dham where they can play with krishna krishna is their own they can dance they can talk they can serve they can fight they can do anything they can roll on the ground with krishna so our aim is also very uh, high so we want to go to the best of dham see there's one very important shloka you can go to the next slide which is given by um, shri nath chakravarti who is the uh, guru of kavi karnapurna in the chaitanya manjusha he gives one um, just four lines but if anybody calls themselves as um, okay i belong to brahma madhava gaudiya sampraday then they should know this shlok by heart <coughs> because this shlok has the essence of the whole thing that chaitanya mahaprabhu has given us what is chaitanya mahaprabhu's ideology what he wants so you see you can you can read it says aaradhayo bhagavan very simple aaradhayo means worship whom should we worship bhagavan who is bhagavan vrajesha tanyas vrajesha means nand maharaj tanya means son so chaitanya mahaprabhu in very simple in this uh, four lines shrinath uh, uh chakravarti has explained what chaitanya mahaprabhu has come to give us so chaitanya Maha, according to chaitanya mahaprabhu only one person or only only one needs to be worship who needs to be worship krishna needs to be worship aradhiyo bhagwan only one bhagwan and that is krishna he is son of nanda maharaj he should be worship and then he says tad dhama vrindavanam and then his dhama vrindavanam is worshipable then he says ramya kaache dupasana vrajavadhu varge na va kalpita okay we are convinced we should worship krishna's dham and we should worship krishna 
how should we worship what should be our mood then the answer is given ramya kachidu pasana vrajavadhu just like the gopis that same mood we should worship in the way uh, the gopis worship the lord okay understood then uh, how do we learn from where should we learn how to get gopi bhav then you see in the next line shrimad bhagavatam pramanam hmm? amalam bhagavatam you should uh, take shelter of shrimad bhagavatam okay so we should worship krishna worship his dham mood of gopis take shelter of bhagavatam what next what should be our goal then it comes prema pumartho mahan that's the goal of our life we want to love lord shri krishna right and then in the last line it says shri chaitanya mahaprabho matam idam idam this is what chaitanya mahaprabhu's opinion or ideology or this is what he has come to taught teach us and then he says tatra dharana paraha nothing else this is the one this is the one this statements you know uh, for which we have the highest regard are the opinion of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so if the gaudiya vaishnava means uh, this is what it is our uh, uh, sambandha with the lord and abhidaya and prayojana our sambandha is that we are servant of the lord he is our worshipable lord and um, uh, what we should we do after understanding this uh, sambandhana we act according to it we serve the lord in the in the bhava of the gopis okay so what's the prayojana what's the end result of that prema pumartho mahan we we um, uh, develop uh, spontaneous love for the uh, lord that's about it so here we see we have the achinta bheda bheda tatva we have taken the best from all uh, sampradaya we have the best of dham goloka dham we uh, we uh, employ ourselves in raganuga raganuga sadhana bhakti now something more special in the brahma madhava uh, gaudiya sampradaya that is the rasa vichar that brings us to our next slide rasa vichar what is this rasa vichar um you see just now we were talking about this aradhayo bhagavan verse where we say that we should um, worship the in the mood in which the uh, gopis worship now there are nine mellows uh, today we'll talk about the most important top five mellows that is a shanta dasya sakya and uh, vatsalya and madhurya now how the progression happens and what are the levels and symptoms of the different uh, mellows now a devotee who is in the uh, dasya or who is in the shanta rasa there are two symptoms one is he has krishna nishtha and krishna tyag krishna nishtha means he has complete faith of faith on krishna and it's not that his faith is delicate and any time he may take a u turn and go back no firm faith on krishna and when that happens you know there's a second thing also simultaneously present in that devotee and that is trishna tyag detachment for the worldly things so there are two things attachment for krishna and detachment for worldly things and that is on the level of shanta so those who are uh, worshiping the lord in the shanta rasa uh, they have these two symptoms krishna nishtha and trishna tyag attachment to krishna detachment to the world but a little higher those who are in the dasya rasa they have attachment for krishna they have detachment for the world but they also have one more thing seva they want to serve the lord that is a dasya rasa you got a little higher that's a sakya rasa they have krishna nishtha they have faith on the lord they have detachment towards other things they have seva bhav and they also have one more thing that is vishramba what is that vishramba you see in the sakya bhav what madhu mangal does it takes away lord laddu from the lord and they they pinch the lord sometimes they get up on the lord's shoulder for them to me ami sama hey you are not great ha huh? we are equal for them lord is you and me we are equal that is vishramba they think um, they have that intimacy very closeness to the lord so now about sakya vatsalya rasa there is attachment to krishna there is detachment to worldly things 
there is seva bhav we see yashoda mata serves the lord there is vishramba okay intimacy with the lord but there is one more thing that gets added and that is um, palaka gnana means yashoda thinks i am responsible for him if i don't feed him who will feed him if i don't make him take bath who will make him take bath i have to take care of him so that gets added as we progress about and now comes the ultimate madhurya bhav the madhurya rasa so in the madhurya rasa okay there is krishna nishtha attachment to krishna yes there is detachment to worldly things yes there is a seva bhav yes there is intimacy vishramba yes there is also a feeling that i have to take care of krishna but there is also one more thing added in the madhurya rasa and that is um nija angadana oh complete complete surrender to the lord oh every every part of me is yours whatever you want to do whatever you want to do my whole existence eh, is a surrender to you and and in the brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya this is what we are uh, doing madhurya mellows madhurya rasa so even the rasa vichar we are you know on the top we uh, uh, that's a, that's a goal of our life to love krishna in the madhurya rasa and this is what we are preaching so you see the tatva is great the dham is great the rasa vichar is great so it's all top super uh, uh, excellence of the uh, brahma madhava gaudiya uh, sampradaya so uh, you see then go to the next slide so you see here um, here it very clearly said that how uh, this madhurya rasa is the greatest you know you see this here it written jayo jayo jwala rasa sarva rasa sar par kiya bhave jahan brajate prachar se so, jaya jaya ujwala rasa sarva rasa sar this madhurya rasa is the essence of all the rasa and we saw that in it because the madhurya rasa has all the other rasas right we saw what are the elements in shanta rasa we saw what are the elements in dasya rasa we saw what are the elements in vatsal and then we saw ultimately how all these are there in the madhurya rasa so sarva rasa sar parakiya bhave jaha brajate prachar parakiya bhave uh, uh, it's a paramour love of the gopis and uh, krishna and that's what we saw just now in that verse aradhyo uh, bhagavan rajesh tanya there is ramya khach dupasana vrajavadhu vargena cha kalpita chatan mahaprabhu strongly recommends that one should worship the lord in the mood and the mellows of the gopis and chatan mahaprabhu he came to preach that you know so it is like um, see the kind of love that the gopis gave to krishna krishna was unable to reciprocate this is something like this is something like if if somebody gives us a loan of 10 lakh rupees and then we are trying but we are not able to give the loan back so what do we do so we feel shame oh i am not able to give the loan back what should i do maybe i should hide myself so every time the person comes you just want to hide yourself and somehow if the person again comes in contact with you and instead of asking you the money back if the person says oh uh, i want to give you another 10 lakhs is it okay with you and then you will be embarrassed oh that 10 lakh which he gave i am not able to give back and now he wants to give me another 10 lakh and every time that he meets you he wants to give you more money and more money and you are not able to give that back and how do you feel about it so that's what krishna says that this is how i feel in vrindavan because the way the gopis love me the way yashoda maharani loves me i'm sorry the way the gopis love me the way the radharani loves me i am unable to reciprocate back so that's why he left off to mathura that okay i i'm not able to you know the way they love me i'm not able to give the same love back so that is why krishna came as chaitanya mahaprabhu and he thought okay you know just like a man who has taken the loan may think okay i'm unable to give the loan back at least i can glorify this person hey look this person gave me so much money and i'm unable to give it back so that's why he came as chaitanya mahaprabhu and he said at least i'll glorify those gopis the way they gave me love i could not reciprocate back but at least i can tell the whole world about the gopi bhav how the gopis are the highest uh, devotees right so uh, in this uh, brahma madhava gaudiya uh, sampradaya uh, the the rasa vichar is also super excellent the top top rasa vichar you know chaitanya mahaprabhu is instructing that we should uh, worship the lord with the mood and mellows of the gopis let's go to the next thing which we have the um, super excellent shrimad bhagavatam shri chaitanya charitamrita and all the gaudiya literatures so uh, not only we have the best tatva 
not only we have the best um, rasa vichar, not only the best sadhana bhakti, but we also have the best and the best literatures. Now, the um, Vedic literature uh, is divided into two, Shruti and Smriti. Now, we may not be able to go into the details with this. I'll run a little quickly. So, um, Shruti again is, um, you know, uh, the Vedas, and the Rag, Rig, Sama, Yajur, and Arth, Atharva Veda. And again, these Vedas are divided into Samhita and uh, Brahmana and uh, Upanishads and uh, Aranyaka. And then again, Smriti is divided into uh, Puranas and Itihas and uh, Sadadarshana. And uh, again, uh, this Sadadarshana. That means the six uh, doctrines or six philosophies. There is Vedanta, and then there is uh, Purva uh, Mimamsha, and there is Nyaya and Vaisesika and Yoga by Patanjali and Sankhya by Kapilamuni. And now, um, what um, Veda Vyasa has done is uh, he has given us Srimad Bhagavatam, which is a natural commentary, commentary to the Vedanta Sutras. So. Um, in the Garuda Purana, there is one co one verse. It says, "Artho yam Brahma Sutra naam. And this was also quoted in Chaitanya Chaitamrita Madhya Lila, uh, chapter number twenty fifth, one forty three to one forty four. So how Shrimad Bhagavatam? See, among all the Sada Darshana, the Vedanta Darshana is the best, and the natural commentary of this Vedanta uh, Sutra is Shrimad Bhagavatam. And she and and in our uh, sampraday, these are our literature. This is our syllabus. This is our book. This is what we follow: Bhagavad Gita, uh, Bhagavatam, and Chetan Chetan. Mr. Prabhupada used to say, Bhagavad Gita is a preliminary study, and then graduation is uh, Bhagavatam, and post graduation is Chetan Chetan. In fact, um, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, in one place, he says. Um, if the whole world is inundated with some flood, let's say there is some flood and you are drowning in that water and you then what you should do, you should throw everything but you should keep these three books safely with you, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam and Chetan Chetamit. And then he said, but, but if it's becoming very heavy and you are drowning in the water, then it's okay, you can leave Bhagavad Gita but don't leave Bhagavatam and Chetan Chetamit. But then more water is, uh, you know, uh, rising above and now you're not able to hold even two books. Then uh, you can leave Bhagavatam but don't leave Chetan Chetamit. And then he says, and if everything is drowned and only Chetan Chetamit remains, then there is nothing to lament, everything is there. Chaitanya Chaitanya, that one book has everything, is what uh, uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur says. So actually these are, these are uh, progressive levels. If you see, the Bhagavad Gita, it starts with Arjuna Vishadha Yoga, right? Arjuna is in misery and you know, okay, what should I do? And then it ends with Sarva Dharman Paritaja. Krishna says, Sarva Dharman Paritaja, Maam Ekam Sharanam Raja, Aham Tam Sarva Pape Bru Mokshishya, Mi Masucha. Okay, you surrendered to me. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do? Leave all my dharma and do what? Then Bhagavatam starts with that. You know, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. You surrender everything to the uh, Supreme Lord. And then you see uh, that whole surrender process, how it should be, is what Krishna has given a glimpse in Bhagavad Gita instruction. How to follow that instruction is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam. And then Srimad Bhagavatam, last uh, um, canto, last chapter, last verse, gives the essence. Okay, what should we do how we should uh, surrender what is, should, should be the goal nama sankirtana nama sankirtanam yasya sarva papa pranashanam and they said uh, uh, pranamo dukha shamanam tam namami harim param okay do two things what are the two things nama sankirtana and then pranamo if you do nama sankirtana what will happen sarva papa pranashanam all your sins will go away okay and then what my sins will go away do pranamam what will happen if i do pranamam all miseries will go away there will be no sorrow and all this all the uh, results of your sinful activities are also destroyed these are the two things. Okay. So then where Bhagavatam uh, um, uh, stops, uh, Chaitanya Chaitamit begins. Because Bhagavatam said in the last, Nama Sankirtanam. So now Chaitanya Chaitamit starts with, okay, how should you do Nama Sankirtan? So the whole Chaitanya Chaitamit, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is talking about, how do you do Nama Sankirtan? What should be your bhav? And then Chaitanya Chaitamit ends with, Ashlishya Vapadaratam Pinastu Mamadarshanam Marmahatam Karotuva Yitha Tathava Vidhati Lampato Mat Pranana Thasu Saiva Napara. And, and he gives us 
शिक्षाष्टकम ओके यू शुड चांट एंड इन वॉट मूड इट शुड बी तिनाद अपी सुनी चाहिए ना तरोरी वा सही सुना शुड बी डन इन हम्बल मूड एंड देन योर योर फीलिंग्स टूवर्ड्स अ लॉर्ड शुड बी वेदर ही रेसिप्रोकेट्स इट डजेंट रेसिप्रोकेट यू आर माई लॉर्ड एंड दैट्स हाउ द चेतन चेता मिट एंड सो नव ब्रह्म मधव गौड़ीय संप्रदाय वी हैव सुपर एक्सिलेंट स्क्रिप्चर्स सुपर एक्सिलेंट तत्व सुपर एक्सिलेंट धाम ना कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड not only that we also worship the super excellent god we don't worship the demi gods we don't worship anybody inferior we worship the topmost and you see in the um uh, bhagavatam this lok comes what is that ete chamsha kala pungsha krishna stu bhagavan swayam in the uh, shrimad bhagavatam uh, this is called the um a paribhasha this is called the paribhasha sutra comes in shrimad bhagavatam canto 1 chapter 3 verse number 28 which is establishing the supremacy of lord shri krishna so we are worshiping the top most ete chamsha kala pungsha krishna stu bhagavan swayam krishna is bhagwan himself and in our brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya uh, we worship the supreme lord you see 50 qualities you know you, you you know about the 64 qualities which is uh, mentioned in the bhakti rasamrita sindhu by uh, rupa goswami out of that 50 qualities uh, jiva can have five more qualities brahma has and shiva has another five more qualities are uh, the different avatars of the lord have uh, 60 qualities but only krishna has four extra qualities what are those go to the next slide four important qualities that lord shri krishna alone has is leela madhurya oh beautiful pastimes veenu madhurya oh his flute prem madhurya oh his devotee is roop madhurya oh his form we know how even lord vishnu was mesmerized by krishna's beautiful form and he did a big leela just to get krishna uh, a glimpse of krishna's beautiful form we will not go into that leela you know that uh, that pastime right how he makes uh, kills the sons of uh, brahmana and make sure that krishna comes to retrieve them and that's how he can enjoy and see the beautiful form of um, krishna so we are worshiping the the best god you know the, the supreme god you know uh, bhagwan swayam you know in our brahma madhava god is something like so we have the best god the uh, best scriptures the best tatva the best bhakti the best melos and there's one more thing we have uh, what is that the best mantra <laughs> hari krishna maha mantra hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari yes you see go to the next slide you see uh, of course uh, this this can be an endless topic how maha mantra is the best mantra there are so many mantras but they have so many restrictions but for kali uh, yuga this is the best mantra You see in the uh, Kali Santra Upanishad it says, "Iti Sodakshakam Namam Kali Kalmasha Nashanam Nataha Par Tarapaya Sarva Vedeshu Drishyate." Says that these uh, names, holy name of the Lord, the sixteen names, they can destroy, they can uh, you know uh, all the faults of Kali. No? You know this verse, um, "Kali Dosha Nidhe Rajan Asti Eko Mahaguna." Do this Kali Yuga having so many faults? This one Mahaguna is that this this Maha Mantra is there for us. You know, Nama Sankirtan. If somebody chants this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, all the faults of uh, Kali can be uh, given up. Of course, there are so many such slokas. Um, here you see this um, one uh, verse I have put here is from Chaitanya Bhagavat, where uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, you know. प्रभु कहे प्रभु कहे कहिलम एई महामंत्र इहा जप गिए करिया निर्वाम सब सब करिया निर्बंध सेस दिस जप इह जप इह जप गिया सब करिया निर्बंध इह होते सर्व सिद्धि होबे सवार सर्वाक्षण बोला इथे विधि नहीं आर सेस महाप्रभु सेस आई हैव गिवन दिस हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र एंड इट इज लॉर्ड हिमसेल्फ इज सेइंग इट्स नॉट दैट वी हैव यू नो ई सेइंग दिस हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र इज द मोस्ट अफेक्टिव मींस ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग द डिवाइन बेनिफिट इन द लाइफ ऑफ एवरी जीवा then he says go home and chant this mantra with all devotion everyone will attain all perfection by grace of this magnanimous mantra therefore chant and remember regardless of time rules 
and regulation. And this is very special. Regardless of any time, rules, regulation, any caste, any community, any gender, any time, uh, whatever situation you are, you can you see the next slide. Here is a very beautiful point. It says, Ki sayana ki bhojana ki ba jagaran aha nisha chinta krishna balaha vadana Where you are sleeping, eating, resting, always you can chant these names of Lord Shri Krishna. So this beautiful Hare Krishna Mahamantra is given to us. Uh, there are not many rules and uh, regulations. Anybody, any situation, any time can uh, chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. See so this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is very special given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is something like, um, you know, imagine if somebody is getting um, drowned in water. Somebody is getting drowned in water. And at that time you go and take an interview of that person. You know, that, that's what the press people do. In fact, uh, we had a pretty bad experience just a couple of days back, a fortnight ago, my younger son. We, are, we st stay next to the ocean, you know, the temple is right on the beach. So he went with the devotees and, you know, on the uh, beach, you know, and then somehow he swam, he swam a little too far, you know, he just went beyond the third wave. And then the devotees were trying their best to somehow get him. And there were three, four, uh, you know, people standing there. And uh, devotees were sharing with me, you know, he's safe and he's back home now. Devotees were sharing with me, you know, sharing with me this incident. They said, Mataji, when we were just like, you know, all are in panic and we're just thinking what to do now, how to get Nimai out. And there were these three guys, you know, and we were just telling him, can you help? And they were very busy making the video. They said, no, no, they just want to upload it live, how the person is getting drowned and how this world has become. Okay, now coming back to, so imagine somebody is getting drowned, you know, and the press reporter goes and asks, hey, what do you feel, sir, what is your comment, you know, and at that time, what will the person say? He'll not say, well, my favorite color is blue, I like blue t-shirt, he won't say that, he'll say, oh my God, at this moment, what he's feeling, you know, he may talk about his uh, parents, or he may say, okay, I just want to let you all know, don't ever come into this side of the ocean, he will give the right advice, a dying man, you know. Similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is uh, you know Radha Krishna nahi anya and you know he is um, uh, he in, in has come in the form of a devotee. So when he is interviewed, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, okay, Mahaprabhu, what are you feeling at this moment? You know, then he, that he is crying for Krishna. Uh, now that you have come in the form of a devotee, what is your feeling if somebody interviews him? Like Rupa Goswami interviewed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. At that time, this answer came from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, lotus mouth. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare. This is, this is very, very special mantra. So uh, that has come out from the lotus mouth of um, Chaitanya uh, Mahaprabhu. So we have to take up uh, chanting of this uh, Mahamantra very uh, seriously. So what will happen if we chant this Mahamantra? Go to the next slide. If we chant this uh, Mahamantra, we do this Nama Sadhana, very nicely and sincerely, slowly mantra siddhi. See, initially what we do? Um, nama Parad, with offenses. Then Nama Abhas, shadow name. Then Shuddha Nam. So slowly, slowly when you chant, 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 then your, you know, your focus improves and you, you know, on the mantra and you improve and you, you just uh, do the Nam with, you know, sincerity and perfectly. You'll achieve the perfection. And then what happens? Attainment of Mantra Devatas abode. Whose mantra are you chanting? Krishna's mantra. So where will you go? To Krishna's Dham. So by um, uh, chanting this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we can go back to Krishna. Uh, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 7.23, He says, Devan Deva Yajo Yanti Mad Bhakta Yanti Mamapi. My devotee, see those who worship demigods, they go to demigod. Those who worship me, they come to me. So we do the we we got this uh, super excellent Hare Krishna Maha Mantra by chanting which we can develop the love of uh, Godhead and ultimately go back home, back to Godhead. Parama Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. So now we got the best of mantra, best of scriptures, best of God best of uh, vidhi, sadhana, uh, raganoga sadhana, bhakti, everything is best. And now, how uh, this has been um, included or um, into ISKCON, you know, you see the seven purposes of uh, uh, ISKCON, you know, go to the next slide. 
how we see this in his con you see shila prabhupad seven purposes that he gave you know distribution of uh, books is one of our purpose so the excellence of this uh, shrimad bhagavatam and chaitanya charitamrit we want to propagate to the whole world see we want to um, uh, bring the members of the family uh, of uh, you know bring the members uh, uh, together in you know association of devotees and then we you know we want to um, um, erect temples you know so why are we doing that giving people the flavor of goloka dham what happens in iskon temples they chant together take prasad together glorify the lord decorate the lord celebrate the festivals this is all what happens in goloka dham so we, that uh, that uh, that taste is given here so if you see shila prabhupad very systematically he has incorporated everything in iskon all the uh, super excellent um, elements of uh, gaudiya vaishnava uh, sampradaya uh, are put into iskon you know so you see the seven purposes of iskon uh, to bring the members uh, closer together for a more uh, natural way of life to um, you know um, uh, bring the members of the society together uh, with each other and nearer to krishna and you know to achieve the real unity and peace in the world to systematically propagate the spiritual knowledge so like that we see how shri prabhupad very systematically um, you know not only uh, gave us um, literature books and he gave us uh, the philosophy gave us the temple gave us the devotees gave us the utsavs gave us a purpose you know gave us a daily sadhana gave us deities you know because we decorate the deities and all you know that way we uh, slowly develop uh, spontaneous uh, love uh, for krishna social prabhupad very uh, systematically uh, gave us the um, uh, mantra okay we uh, this is our mantra brahma madhav gaudi sampradaya we chant this is our hari krishna maha mantra and, and shila prabhupad gave us um, prasadam <laughs> ours is a um, kitchen religion Shri Prabhupada gave us uh, Mahaprasad. So Brahma Madhava Gaudiya Sampradaya is also famous for uh, Prasad. You know, even Madhva Charya and all uh, used to distribute Prasad and uh, was very fond of Prasad. So you see, that's why in our temples, just behind the Lord, we have DT Kitchen because uh, we focus so much on uh, uh, Mahaprasad. So another, uh, okay, go to the next slide. You see, yes, go to the next slide. you see iskon's uh, parampara is brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya yes go to the next slide not only that we have super excellent gurus in our sampradaya and and our sampradaya is coming directly in unbroken disciplic succession from krishna himself so you can see that how um, from this knowledge came from krishna to Uh, brahma from brahma to narad muni narad muni to vyasadeva vyasadeva to madhavacharya and like that it goes on and on and on to our dear uh, krishna kripa murti abhay charnar vrinda bhakti vedanta swami shri la prabhupad and uh, uh, this is also one very um, special feature of uh, <coughs> our glorious brahma madhav gaudiya sampradaya that we have our dear shri la prabhupad see um it says in the um in the in the scriptures that um, you cannot know uh, krishna without knowing radharani you see there is this one verse you know in the uh, narad puran it says satyam satyam puna satyam satyam eva puna puna bina radha prasadena mat prasado na vidyate krishna is telling to narad muni hey narad without radha rani's mercy you cannot get me you have to go go through radha rani so another very uh, special thing about brahma madhava gaudiya sampradaya is we are the uh, followers of the param gauri uh, radha rani we have taken shelter of radha rani because i'll tell you you see even in uh, you know um, parents when a child is uh, dirty you know maybe he has passed uh, urine or stool you know immediately the father will give the child to the mother and the mother will change the diaper clean the child but once the child is um, 
once a child is clean then the father wants to take it the neighbors want to take everybody want to play with the child but when the child is dirty they want to give it to the mother you know she has to clean it similarly krishna says uh, uh, okay sarva dharman parittajya mam ekam sharanam vacha so is you have to first remove all your dirt it's not it's not that you know <coughs> child is playing in the mud and he comes running out father will say don't 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 hug me you know first 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 go and take bath then i'll i'll carry you but mothers you know they will say come i'll clean you the mother will say come i'll clean you she'll take to the bathroom father will say clean and then come to me this is what happens krishna says first clean 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 yourself then i accept you so here radharani is the mother so she, she not only cleans us when we take her shelter she decorates us you know with all the ornaments of good qualities and then we are acceptable to krishna bhakti siddhanta saswit thakur says we are not followers of krishna we are followers of radharani in fact one time uh, bhakti siddhanta saswit thakur was with his disciples in radhakund and uh, somebody was doing a parikrama of radhakund very sincerely you know in vrindavan how they do they lay down completely shakshat dandavat pranam and then again they'll get up and then where they had kept a stone from there they continue so he's saying are you see how much affection and how much uh, love he has for radharani then bhakti siddhanta saswit thakur said okay but his love for radharani and our love for radharani is it's different it's there is a wide gap then he said how he said he likes krishna and because radharani is standing next to krishna he wants radharani's mercy but our philosophy is actually we worship radharani but somehow this krishna has stolen radharani's heart by playing flute that is why we give one flower to his hand also but we are not interested we are interested in worshiping radharani only so now um if you want to approach krishna you have to approach radharani now if you want to approach radha radha krishna then it's a very um, lofty uh, you cannot directly approach so you have to approach through gauranga mahaprabhu uh, if you know gauranga k n o w if you know gauranga then you know radha krishna but if you say no i don't want gauranga n o w no gauranga then no radha krishna you cannot get radha krishna you have to go through uh, gauranga mahaprabhu but there's another problem if you go through gauranga mahaprabhu this is a small problem is there because gauranga mahaprabhu is very strict we all know the uh, story of chota haridas chota haridas just for a fraction of a second he developed a, a lusty uh, or he looked lustily at a lady where, where uh, where he had gone to collect some uh, rice in charity uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu rejected him so that makes us afraid that okay if i take shelter of uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, then uh, i have to give up uh, you know uh, last kama but is it possible in this material world so okay for those who can't do that we if we, even if we can't take shelter of chaitanya mahaprabhu we approach to nityananda prabhu because nityananda prabhu is very merciful so no matter what um, you know uh, are our um, uh, what are our uh, limitations he will accept us but there is somebody who is more merciful than nityananda prabhu and i'll tell you this is something like if i t- if i want to explain it in a, like an um, to give you an example see how krishna see so krishna is like je um, jathamam prapadyante so if i have um, if i have if i am if i am if i am a student let's say and i am giving an exam paper so let's say if i write a uh, uh, 50 marks uh, paper and i have uh, attempted let's say of a, out of a 100 marks paper if i have attempted 50 questions so krishna will say okay you have attempted 50 questions you will get 50 marks so je jathamam prapadyante whatever you are um, uh, you are uh, you know giving me i reciprocate same back that is krishna but if somebody comes and says no uh, can you give, i can i cannot write 50 answers i can write only 30 uh, can you just help me then krishna says okay then you go to chaitanya mahaprabhu so what chaitanya mahaprabhu does is even if you have written 30 marks paper he will add another 10 marks and somehow make sure you get 40 and you pass the exam but if somebody says well um, i haven't even written 30 i just written something maybe 18 marks can you help me then chaitanya mahaprabhu says then you go to nityananda prabhu so nityananda prabhu is like okay okay you have 18 marks i'll add some more marks and i'll you know make it 40 now if somebody may say but i don't even want to you know come and write the exam 
then for that kind of people, uh, Srila Prabhupada has come. <laughs> what happened to the people in the West? Uh, they, didn't, they didn't even want to do bhakti. They were not even interested to know about Krishna. They are just happy in their house and Srila Prabhupada says, I'm coming. I'll conduct the examination at home. You know, I'll come with the question paper. Please write here, you know, I'll help you with it and then I'll somehow pass you. And that is Srila Prabhupada. So this Brahma Madhava, Gaudiya Sampradaya a line, uh, we get this very special personality called uh, Srila Prabhupada, uh, who is helping, you know, who, who um, at the ripe old age went around the world, around the globe 14 times and in those who were not even interested uh, into Krishna consciousness out of his causeless uh, mercy, he somehow uh, brought everybody back into, um, into uh, uh, Krishna uh, consciousness, you know, uh, uh, he reminded everybody of that original uh, position of uh, dasanu dasanu dasa so the um, uh, sankirtan uh, movement so this is the glorious glorious um, um, uh, qualities of our uh, super excellent brahma madhava uh, gaudiya sampradaya A very very simple uh, take prasad read bhagavatam Take association of devotees, chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, don't make offenses, uh, serve Vaishnavas, uh, take shelter of Radharani, and uh, take shelter of a bona fide guru, perform your uh, services, and uh, that's about it. So beautiful and simple. And take shelter of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we will uh, chant one verse. Uh, and offer our obeisances to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and we'll end it here. Ajanulam bitabhujo kanakavadhato Sankirtane kapitaro kamalayatakshu Vishwam bharo dvijavaro yuga dharma palo Vande Jagat Priya Karo Karuna Vataro Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai Brahma Madhava Gaudiya Sampradaya Ki Jai Shri La Prabhupada Ki Jai Hare Krishna Amar Purahana Jebra Movino Diya Reno Diya Purahana Jebra Movino Diya Gorana se premo vino